so we back out here. Um, it's a morning. It's a pretty good morning. Not too cold, but not too hot. I'm in uh, shoes, open toed. So, yeah, I feel like Bucky entering my first relationship. Honestly, a lot better than I thought. Like, I mean, I always felt like any romantic arc in my life, that was going to be, like, stressful and hard. And, I mean, it was stressful and hard in the beginning, but that was just because I had a bunch of, like, fears and insecurities. Now that I'm kind of into it, fun and easy. Honestly, I don't know why... I don't know why I thought it would be so uh, stressful and difficult. I'm not sure why I thought that. Whatever the case, I don't think that anymore. Uh, you know how many things in my life I've like beliefs I've had that were not helpful that I dropped, and once I drop them, they're just dropped. They're gone. In the past, fell off into the void. Who cares? On to the future now. So yeah, I mean, I feel like. Ooh, birds. I think birds get cold. I've never seen a bird behave as if it were cold. To be honest, I really only see people behave as if they're cold. Maybe I just can't pick up on animal body language. Cold, what does it mean to be cold as an animal? But yeah. I feel like I used to be super, like, afraid and hesitant because I didn't want to overstep somebody's boundaries. Especially when it came to, like, intimacy. I was like, ah, 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 yeah. you'd be hearing all these stories about people, blah, 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 blah. But I guess that just uh, comes down to communication, addressing problems when I see them. Uh, I'm smart. They're smart. We're both smart. And we're both good at communicating. I don't see what the issue would be, I feel like relationships in general, I guess is not so bad if both people are like uh, adequately prepared it's sort of like when you're afraid of uh, what is it? I don't know, anything to be honest yeah, it could go bad, but only if you're like unprepared it's like if you're afraid of driving I guess driving is different because you drive on the road with people you don't know um, I can't think of an analogy right now but you really only have to be afraid of things if you, uh, I don't know, dude. Whatever the case, glad, good times, great times, magnanimous times. And am I prepared for the fallout? Like, uh, let's say hypothetically into the future. We split as all things come to an end. Hey, I'm sure I'll be fine, right? I mean, I'm sure I can handle it. I am no longer at the point where I behave in a manner to protect myself from heartbreak. Which makes things a lot easier. When you're not concerned about, oh, how am I going to feel when this is over? When that's no longer a fear and that's no longer a concern, it's a lot better. I I think that's really how a lot of things you should do. Like trying to protect your future self from wanting to be your current self. Don't do that. That's a... That's not believing in your future self. That's disrespecting your future self, saying, oh, I'm so weak that future me is not going to be able to uh, handle not being me right now. So I'm going to worry and I'm going to fret about protecting my emotional future self because I think they're so weak that they couldn't handle not being me because I'm enjoying what's happening right now. That does make sense. And I would say that that is a valid view. But, uh... I think it's not, I think it slows you down. 
I think the better thing to do is just to be like, Chucha me can handle it. Right? Because Future Me can't handle it. Future Me's cool. Future Me's good. Future Me's smart. Because all of me's are smart. Because I'm smart, right? And I'm me now and I'm me then. Just like I was me in the past. And I don't... I don't want to be my past self. Of course not. That's stagnation. And I'm not a part of stagnation. So... I believe Future Me, even if Future Me feels heartbroken, can get through it and we'll be fine. Right? Yeah, back on the Siggy Diggies, right? You saw the last video. Why? You know how it is. You don't even have to ask why. <laughs> Should I be laughing? Should I be smiling? Of course. I mean, of course not. But, uh, you know. Yeah, at least I roll them myself. Once I start buying, if I start buying cigarettes, nah, that's not the move. But as long as I just steal these, steal uh, tobacco from the garage from my dad and then roll it up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I would report positive. I would report good. Sky really does look nice. You know, all the little subtle differences in uh, in the colors in the sky throughout the seasons. You know, summer morning sky doesn't look like winter morning sky or fall morning sky or spring morning sky. They all look different. The spark looks different. The moon is still out. Can you see it? No. 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 Uh, 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 where the moon? That's the moon. You see how it's glowing? But it's still day. I like that. It's like a little in between. It's like... The last drops of nighttime. Would you consider this nighttime? I mean, and it's morning, but if you're gonna break the, if you're gonna break it down into day and night, I would consider this still night. The very, very last drops of nighttime. Very last drops of nighttime. As soon as the sun comes up, as soon as you start seeing direct beams that came from the sun to your eyes, that's when it's daytime. But right now, I would still consider this nighttime. I would still consider this very, very late night time so late that it's early you know how it is double zero yeah 